in years. So in this arc of the night, uh, slow wave sleep predominates uh, early in the night and then REM sleep. There's a scenario that many people, including myself, experience on a regular basis, which is they go to sleep, sleeping just fine, three, four hours into it, they wake up. They wake up for whatever reason. Maybe there was a noise, maybe the temperature isn't right. We will certainly talk about sleep hygiene, et cetera. They get up, they go to the restroom. They might flip on the lights, they might not. They go back to sleep. Let's say after about 10, 15 minutes, they're able to fall back asleep. How detrimental is that wake up episode or, or um, event in terms of longevity, learning, et cetera? It is perfectly natural and normal, particularly as we progress with age. At the end of our REM sleep period of the 90 minute cycle, almost everybody wakes up and we make a postural movement. We turn over because we've been paralyzed for so long and the body will also like to shift. For the most part, I think we can be more relaxed about that. Where we have to be a bit more attentive though is if you are spending long periods of time not being able to get back to sleep. And usually we define that by saying, if it's been 20, 25 minutes. The other thing is if it's happening very frequently. So even if you're, um, you know, not awake for 25 minute stretches, but you're finding yourself waking up and being consciously aware that you've woken up for maybe six, seven or eight times throughout the night. And your sleep is very, what we call fragmented. The great science of sleep in the 